Okay guys, I'm going to try to show you how to do um, my garden picture. I'm not the best at videoing, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, first I dropped my favorite lighter colors. This is dandelion. I usually start with the favor and I favorite and I just drop colors. Hope you can see this good. Then I'm going to go to orange, which is Valencia. You kind of want your colors to just lay there and start moving. You can even pop some colors on top of your yellow. Um, then I'm going to go to Limeade, which I barely have any, but I love this color. Um, lately I've been using a lot of Purple Twilight. See how my colors are just mixing into each other? And if you're into flowers, you might want to like put three or four drops near each other so they kind of mix so you can either, it will either look like a flower kind of or um, you can also doodle a flower later if you want. I usually love turquoise is my favorite color and I'm out. So I'm going to use I'll try Mermaid. I know it's not going to be the exact same, but sometimes I use Sailboat, too. Um, so let's try those. And sometimes I'll drop the blue on a green that mixes pretty. The blue on the Twilight's, Purple Twilight's beautiful, too. I just start dropping them where I kind of think might look nice. That one was, oh, I already got a mess going. And then this is Mermaid. That was Sailboat Blue, which I kind of like. And I'm going to let that spread out for a minute. See how it goes. Might add a little bit more down here. You don't want too much ink because if you get too much ink going, then you're going to end up with kind of a brown mess. So just start with small amounts and then go up. You can blow on it a little bit to get it to dry. Um, then I use just a little caps to put some ink in and um, I use a little brush and here's my small brush. Make sure it's dry, wipe it off if you need to. Um, pour yourself some ink. I use shot glasses, which are great because they don't spill over easy. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean my brush, make sure it's clean, dip it off, put it in the blue and I'm just gonna start spraying a little around my paper. Just see what you think, let that kinda flow. You might want more, you might wanna do another color. Um, what I don't have here is pink. 
and I kind of forgot, but I'm I'm kind of liking it without the pink for a change. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some green, the limeade again. Might throw a little bit of dabs in there. Clean my brush. Dry it. Soak up the ink. And throw some around. Okay, now I'm gonna just take some ink, or yeah, some alcohol, I mean. And I'm gonna start dropping it randomly up and down different spots. You don't want it to be the same all across the page. And just let that kind of hang. See what you think and just kind of dab it on your paper hope you can see it and then I'm gonna come back with some green more of my limeade and I'm gonna start dropping that also I hope you can see this but I'm just gonna scatter it in different spots. You don't want everything to be the same with art. Um, and my limeade is, I think, officially out. So I'm gonna grab some citrus and I'll throw that in. I'm trying to get the best angle. I gotta hold my paper up. Just kind of go back and forth. I got my bottle in my hand, just going up and down. Trying to get some streaks of green. Let that dab off on the bottom. If you want more, just keep adding more green. This is a pretty easy one, guys. You just have to give it a try. Um, I'm pretty much a beginner. I'm not an expert for sure, but I just started trying different things that I liked. I think a lot of it is about your colors. Um, I just did one that the colors absolutely look terrible together, so I think that it's a lot about color. Um, okay, now I'm going to I think I'm gonna lighten up some of these blue spots, which I'm gonna kind of try to make them look like flowers. It takes a little bit of time, but all you do is use your, get your alcohol out, put it in your shot glass, clean your brush, make sure it's clean, and then just start dabbing little spots of alcohol around. And it kind of softens that blue and to me, it kind of reminds me of like a blue hydrangea. You want to make sure you get near the edges too. You don't want it to be like a, I don't like the look if it's a total circle. You want it to be kind of random and your dots don't have to be the perfect size all the time. You just want to have fun with it and let it kind of just do its thing. I usually tap my brush off a couple times if you don't want big amounts of alcohol. You can even dab it on, uh, on your newspaper or paper towel if you want to and just keep going. And um, 
I kind of like the look of this. And it looks really pretty with pink. A lot of times I use, um, I think it's pinata, maybe. Oh, I have so much ink on this one, you can't even see the name anymore. Or Fiesta, maybe. But it looks really pretty with the pinks. But you just kind of keep going. I want this to kind of be a quick video, so... And just don't stand it up until your inks are dry. Because you'll have smears all over the place. You don't have to be perfect about this or anything. Actually, I think the more messy you are, almost the prettier it is. You don't want to go in a straight line. You just want to do random dots. So it's like nature. It's just, you know, you don't want it to look, your lines to look straight when you're doing this. You can put your blues together too, like I could have had bigger clumps of blue if you wanted to, and then you get a bigger flower. But I'm just kind of trying to give you the idea of how I do this. A lot of this stuff is just trial and error. You got to just you have to just make mistakes, throw stuff out there. You know, it's all learning, all the bad things that you don't like about your art. Maybe you learn something from it and just keep trying different things. If you, I'm gonna join some of this purple in. We'll see how this goes. Maybe it will add something. Maybe I'll say I shouldn't have done it, but you just have to try different things. So you're going to have flowers and then you're going to have like a background. So my background is a little green, some orange, a little bit of yellow. Okay, now I'm going to take more green, the citrus. Tap my brush off and I'm going to make some leaves. You don't want to be perfect about this either. Just go quick. Believe in yourself. I like to pull the green up into the flowers. You can add some more. I just, these are kind of to me like blades of grass or I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Clean my brush again. 
I'm going to dab it in the green. You don't want this to be perfect either. Just have fun with it. I think the less you think about it, the more unique. When you go back and look at it, you're going to be like, oh, I did that. So it's kind of a surprise sometimes. You don't have to do every blade of grass. I kind of just sometimes do random. I hope you can see this good still. I sure appreciate this group. They've helped me so much getting started, and um, I just love it. I'll tell you what, it sure helped me through COVID. So just finish up your grasses or whatever and then if you want to you can doodle on your pictures and see if you see flowers or if you want to do something more abstract but just keep going guys and don't give up and just keep trying new things thanks thanks a lot